everyone. Welcome to Right Sleep Sleep Chats. This is a series of short videos featuring Right Sleep creator Dr. Stasha Gomenak answering some of our frequently asked questions as well as other as well as others you may not have even thought to ask. We'll tackle one question at a time to help you improve your sleep and ultimately improve your health. So Stasha, how do we get our blood levels drawn? Thank you for asking me that Heather, that's a great question. <clears throat> we have a big advantage in the United States because we actually, in most states in the United States, we are allowed to get our blood drawn and get our results directly back to us. So if you haven't watched uh, one of the other sleep chats about how can I do this on my own, I spoke in that chat about the fact that now lay people are being enabled or empowered to lo look at their own lab results. This is especially important because medicine as an organization is actually being, to some extent, uh, discouraged from learning about D, with, about vitamin D, which is weird. So that means that the lay public is kind of on their own and uh, they have to learn about D because there's so much controversy within medicine. So there's a company that was started by a lay person that's called Ulta, U-L-T-A, ultalabtest.com. It is an online ordering platform. It's not the only one, but it is very efficient, very cheap, and very widely available. That ordering platform allows you to put your information in to order many different types of tests and to directly go into a Quest lab draw station, have your blood drawn, and then receive the results yourself. So you get to interpret them yourself. Now, most of the physicians are having a hard time with this uh, difference in where who has the expertise to interpret this, but one of the great things about the internet is you can listen to different doctors' opinions. And in actual fact, that's really the way most people would like to lead their life. They'd like to get a consensus of opinion. So Ulta Lab Tests allows you to get your vitamin D level tested once a month for approximately 37 to $39. Always look at their coupons. Also, if you're going to start right sleep, you have to do two blood levels, which is a vitamin D level and a B12 level. And those are actually put together as a, as a <clears throat> duo for a cheaper price than doing them individually. And I don't get any kickback from this company. I, I really don't want anyone to think that I make any profit from people doing their D levels. I think that this should be free. This is a basic right of all people to go outside in the sun, make D, and then pay a little bit to get find out what your D level is. So the way that you can get your D levels is through this online ordering platform. Now, there are other variations of this, which are, for instance, CVS has started to offer vitamin D levels done through their pharmacy, through what's called a blood spot test. So when you go to Ulta, and order your test, you're actually going to go to Quest Labs, have your blood drawn, and they're going to take a little tube and it's going to be your serum test, which is the most accurate. Also, when you order your lab through Ulta Lab Test, you have to pay attention to which one of the vitamin Ds you're ordering because they have many different ones. The one you want to order has the initials LC backslash MS, and it will say Quest Assured, and it's got a little trademark, and I'm going to put that in the, in the show notes as well. Those letters tell you that they've used this big expensive machine that is the most accurate D test. Most of the labs around the world have started to use immunoassays that are sort of like those COVID tests, the home tests that we can do, same concept. And they are not nearly as accurate as that big expensive machine. That means the price is the same through Ulta, but you get a more accurate read, especially as your D level is higher. 
So I will put in the show notes the D level that you're supposed to have measured. Now, one of the problems is the D levels that your doctor is doing when you go in to be in your annual visit with your doctor, most of the time they write that they want a vitamin D level, but the doctor doesn't know that the lab over the last 10 years has switched over to do these cheaper and less accurate D levels because doctors are not being educated about D and how D affects our symptoms. That means the doctor is paying attention to what's on the reading that they do, but they don't realize that the lab, in order to save the lab money, is actually doing a less accurate test. So when you've had your doctor do your D levels, frequently they read from 10 to 20 points higher than the real level once it gets above a level of 40. So it's not only relevant to know what, what technique was used, but if you're going to try to run your D level between 60 and 80, which is what I recommend for you for better sleep, you actually need to be doing an LCS, LCMS technique to get it to work for you. So in summary, you can get it done through Ulta lab tests. It goes directly back to your email. I've had very good experience with it. It is not what is called a blood spot test. I'm going to swing back around to what I said about CVS doing a blood spot test. There are several labs in the U.S. that will allow you to prick your finger, drop a drop of blood on a piece of paper, dry it, and send it back to them. They'll take a little tiny two millimeter punch out of the middle of that drop. They will actually get the blood off of that piece of paper and run the lab test. The problem is that the turnaround time for that, for you to get your results back is quite long. It's at least two weeks. Also, I have found when I've compared the serum tests to the blood spot tests that they're relatively unreliable. So the CVS in particular, when I did the comparisons, they were 20 points higher than the serum test. So if you have any possibility of doing the serum test, the price is actually the same or cheaper than the blood spot tests. So I would actually recommend that you do them through Ulta as opposed to blood spot. If you don't have the, the Ulta tests available to you, the states where they're not available legally are New York, uh, New Jersey, and Rhode Island. And that's because the state legislator have said that people should not have access to their own labs. But there are other places in the U.S. that are not completely covered as well. So you might have to use a different sort of test. Thanks. Well, thank you for helping to clear up the confusion because I know a lot of people get confused over which tests and what levels and things like that. So thank you for that. And thank you everyone else for joining us. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share our videos. And you can find more information about the Right Sleep Program at drgomanak.com. Remember, we see our doctor once a year because we heal our bodies every night. Until the next sleep chat, sleep well.